Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Ammo Box. Now, it is a very simple asset, uh, it's very nice, uh, but there are one or two things that we want to address first of all. So we do have a demo scene, uh, but the demo scene comes with basically no texture attached to the or material attached to the cube, which it all lies on. So you could just attach a quick uh, you know, material to it which is what I'm going to do. So if I bring that texture, I'll bring text, just attach it so as it looks less pink and a bit strange. Uh, one of the things I did spot with this is on the main camera, there appear to be two missing scripts. So whether the original version of this came with the scripts, I can't be too sure, uh, but they don't seem to impact anything around it. Quality wise, these are very nice assets and very well designed. So we get a couple of the shells here and inside the box we have some and we also have the closed box version. So although it just says ammo box, i.e. singular, we get a couple here and a couple of different variations and also get the shotgun shells as individuals so you can change them around. Now overall I think it's very, very well made, but the biggest thing I noticed with it is they are rather small. Overall it's, it's just not very big at all, they are very small boxes so you may need to increase the size. To understand um, just how small they are, this cube itself is only half the size and all these fit onto it. So you just keep in mind that they are rather small. If we go to the game view, we can see that it is very, very far away because they are indeed rather small. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom the camera in a little bit so we can get a better visualization of what they look like in the game view. So quite nice. So quality wise, yeah, they're really well made, really nice. Quantity wise, we get enough here for what it's worth, you know, we get all the shells so we can at least create something useful rather than just have a pointless asset. Easy to use because you've got each individual um, shell here that you can play around with, play around with the box. Uh, we've got the prefabs here that you can use as well. So content wise, yeah, we get everything we need to. We've got some icons here which is gonna be quite useful. So I'm gonna count that as extras. So if you've got some UI uh, on your screen and you just wanna show uh, these as an image, yeah, you've got them here. So I'm gonna count them as some extras. Now, as always, apply a little bit of post-processing and things can look even better. When it comes to customization and versatility, you can just play around with some of these. So if we go to the materials, uh, let's go to this material and increase the normal map you'll see things start getting a little gritty here, but then if you change the actual normal map itself to a grayscale, you can see that changes do occur very slightly in this case, um, mainly because you just need to play around a little bit more. It will have more of an impact on the ammo itself, I believe. So if we go to the materials and go to the ammo, and if we increase, normal up there you can see just how much they do change so it doesn't make too much of a difference on the boxes but the ammo cartridges or shells do make a little bit of a difference uh, one thing i will note is it's a shame that it does say um, on here if i zoom in on the game view it says 12 gauge shot shells that's all it says on it uh, and it is a shame that we you know to customize that you would have to open it up in um paint well i say paint but any kind of application that can modify textures and change that if you want to. But if you're just looking for shotgun shells, that's perfectly fine. So how useful is this? To be honest, any type of game that has a shotgun in it, this is gonna be useful. So any type of shooter game, yeah, you're gonna find a use out of this. It's really nicely well made, and it, I think it would fit into a lot of games so well. So it is very, very useful in that sense. Obviously, we've got the demo scene, neat folders, all oh, fantastic, nice and tidy, just get straight to the point. And I love it when it's like that. So price, it is free as of recording this video. So just keep that in mind that prices do change all the time. Now, one thing I do have a little bit of an issue with is the file size. So that file size is coming up for 60 megabytes and that's quite a lot for what we actually get in this pack. Now it does mean that the textures are high quality, which okay, fair enough, but you've got to be mindful that if you're creating something for mobile devices, that's quite a large chunk taken up there. But for a standard game on PC or console, yeah, I don't think that's anything to worry about. So overall, yeah, it's not too bad, but you can see the quality when I zoom in here. This texture is really good high quality because it's still crystal clear, even zoomed in like this. So as you guys know, I don't uh, rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And if you're creating a shooter game, 
with a shotgun in it, these are going to be great for you for an ammo collection. So yeah, I would recommend it if you have a shotgun in your game and need ammo for it. This is going to be a perfect asset for you. And it's free, at least it is right now. So yeah, definitely worth picking up if you have a shotgun. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But let me know in the comments why you gave it a thumbs down. What could be improved in this asset? If you've got anything on the asset store, let me know as well. I'd love to check it out and maybe review it in one of these little videos. And finally, you know what's coming. Click that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon. And you can stay up to date with all of the video game development videos and tutorials and reviews and everything that I have on my channel. There's always loads to learn here. So guys, hopefully I'll see you in another video. See you around.